Welcome to another one of a Morocco, Morocco, Morocco tagine recipes. Today we're going to be cooking a rabbit tagine. To be honest, I've never cooked rabbit. I've never eaten a rabbit tagine, but we're going to use some Moroccan spice mixtures as well as Moroccan cooking vessel, the tagine. Here we have some crushed up thyme, turmeric, ginger, salt, black pepper, garlic, and a bay leaf. We're gonna make a marshmallow, which is like a marinade in Morocco. We're gonna coat the rabbit and we're gonna come back and check on it in half an hour. Come watch the rabbit get marinated. Add just a little bit of water to make the spice mixture. I want that to be a little more turmeric style. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna let this be completely coated and marinade. Rabbit confuses me because I don't exactly know what parts of the rabbit these are. You can get it covered in spices. Oh, I forgot to mention our bay leaf in here. I think everybody saw it. I don't know what it is. What do you think? Is there enough spices on there, Andrea? Yeah, are you going to leave it to marinate a Yeah. Bit? Okay, and we'll see you in half an hour for more surprises. Rumi is awake from her nap, so I'm filming on my own now. I had originally intended to kind of sear my rabbit, but I don't think marinating it in water is gonna help that. So I'm gonna just make my little bed of onions here. My bed of onions is complete. I'm gonna begin to put my rabbit on there. Hopefully I could fit all of this rabbit on there. I'm a little guy here. Yeah, rabbit fits perfect. Let's assemble our veggies. Remember the eyes eat first, so make it pretty. And with my leftover marinade, I'm gonna coat these veggies. I'm gonna cover this up, see it in a little bit. After half an hour of cooking, we're getting some bubble action. I'm not in panic mode yet, so I'm gonna let that just cook. Open. No, we're not opening it today. That's the game we're playing. We wanna see. No, not yet, not we until it's done. See. Not until it's done. I didn't want to do it, but I have to do it. We're losing precious juices. Spoon is in. Did a great job not opening the tagine today. It's been an hour and 20 minutes. Oof. Still looking quite juicy. I'm going to add on some apricots by our potatoes. Sweeten this thing up. I'm going to continue to let this cook because Still quite juicy. It's that time again. Tajin time. Rumi, are you ready for the reveal revelation? Revelation? The reveal. Wow, looks like in Morocco. Mm. Mm, oh, it smells delicious. Mm. I wish we, we could transfer the smell. The smells are really good right now. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Wow. View just by the look of it, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Color, colorful, yeah. juicy, wow. herbs. Yeah, that's what you want from your tagine. Colors <laughs> and juices and herbs. Okay, try it first. Yeah, but I said 10 uh, just for the way how it Presentation? looks. Presentation? Wow. Yeah. Ladies, try the tagine first. Oh, mashed for Rumi. She's excited for it. Rumi, it's hot. You like the tagine, Rumi? Is it good? Oh no. A little sauce on there. It's the best baby food, huh? Mm hmm. How's the sauce? Delicious. Is it good? Passes the Rumi test, huh? Passes the roomy test definitely. She wants to feed herself, so I'm. I made a mistake by making a mashed potato. I'm just gonna make ah, ice, ice. Yeah, you gotta just let it cool. Yeah, I'm gonna make pieces. You've tried the potato. How is it? Good, buttery, soft. Mm. We just need to mix it with the oil that's in here. But yeah, I'm just gonna start here. I guess I'm gonna do it. Uh, try to do it Moroccan way. I'm gonna get some bread and start in my corner i see a nice piece of rabbit here which i think 
You okay? It's not tender enough? I don't know. It's lag. Yeah. It's hard to make that rabbit tender. Eh, it's not terrible. No, it's done. Look. Oh, it's see. definitely done. Over an hour and a half on there. Try um. it. Try the rabbit. Don't burn yourself. Yeah, it's definitely done. Is it good? Yeah. Mm. The sauce is yummy. You have to mush everything together. Rabbit, bread, potatoes. Oh, and we have this. I have a piece of uh, apricot. Mm. She might like that too. Mm. Is apricot good? Mm -hmm. It's very delicious. Don't forget we got some almonds on there too. Mm. Is apricot yummy, Rumi? Yeah, the face isn't convinced, but it's a new for her, so but she's going for more, so okay. So I would say that's a yes. Rumi likes her tajans. I was just thinking the, the flies have arrived. And so is our other guest who likes to come and watch us eat. We'll get a little treat for her too, don't worry. Not your typical Moroccan bread, but it's what we got today. 89 cents at the Hofer. Let's try this tagine. Oh. Bismillah. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. No, we, we got to get into this rabbit. It's what we came here for. I don't know how to make this rabbit more tender. And I'm using a fork. It's a little bit of cheating. Let's see how this goes. I know it's so hot. I got to wait. Yeah, you like it? Hmm. Very good. More tender than I expected. But we do have a little case of tagine soup going on down here. That is clearly tagine soup. I like tagine soups. <laughs> I'm soaking my rabbit into it. I like mine a little bit richer. But it'll do. This is definitely my favorite rabbit. No offense, but I like this better than when you cooked it last year. I don't even remember what I cooked. Something in white wine sauce and... Me? Uh-huh. I was cooking rabbit in a white wine sauce. I think you mixed some things. Got the cat there. Bye bye. You gave her a big piece of rabbit. It was mostly bone. Rumi just wants to see the cat. She's doing her best to eat, but she's distracted by her visitor. Here's what the bottom of that tagine looks like. Some nice browning on the onion and the rabbit. Oh, yeah. Yum. So, this ended up being one of our favorite tagines, I would say. I was really surprised because rabbit isn't one of my favorite foods. But this sauce here is amazing. I think maybe the addition of thyme and a bay leaf, which is what I don't always put in a tagine, made it extra delicious. Like the sauce here, really good. Maybe a little less water to make it just a bit richer, the sauce. Andrea shakes her head no, she likes it. Uh, any improvements, tips are always appreciated and welcome. That's how we learn. But I'd say better than the fishball tagine. You agree? Yeah. She agrees. Rumi agrees. You like it? I would like to add a hot pop pepper on top next time. Get a little spice. Uh, what do you think, Andrea? What would you do? Sear the rabbit. So question for the viewers. Should we sear the rabbit uh, before putting it in tagine or no? If you're going to do that, you're going to have to marinate the rabbit with oil and not water. But that would also solve my too much water conundrum, which you don't agree with anyway. So... I mean, if it's uh, saucy enough, you know, now we are like having leftover juice here, that, then that's fine. Do you agree, Princess of Venice? Andrea also said more potatoes. Yeah, we had two little ones. Carrots could be softer, you also said. Yeah, I don't know. They are not super soft like 
baby soft like i cannot like oh, now it's gone split this apart and Rumi's favorite are apricots. Did you What's have her favorite part of the tagine? Maria Litze. Mm. As you can see, this was an amazing tagine. I welcome any tips or tricks for cooking a rabbit tagine as this is something I never really experienced but would be open to trying and making again in the future.